How are you students? My name is Mr. J.M. Kimani, a lecturer in quantitative analysis. Welcome to lesson two of the topic, simulation techniques. Now, uh, this lesson, we are going to continue with simulation of CVP. We did a question uh, under lesson one. Now we try another question still on the area of CVP. The question is June 2010, question 5, part B. June 2010, question 5, part B. Maridadi Industries Limited produces a designer perfume called Hint of Elegance. Production of the perfume involves the use of two ingredients, A and B. Currently, the company is operating at a low at a level where the daily usage of A and B are set at 200 units and 450 units respectively. The production function of the perfume is given as Y equals to square root of a product of X1 and X2, where Y is the number of bottles of the perfume produced, X1 is the units of ingredients A, X2 is the units of ingredient B. Each bottle of the perfume is sold at shillings 5,000. The cost of ingredients A and B are random variables. The data below relates to the two random variables. There is unit cost of ingredients A in shillings and there is probability that 1100 shillings probability 0 0.1, 1600 probability 0 0.05, 2100 probability 0 0.35, 2600 probability is 0 0.5. Unit cost of ingredient B in shillings and the probability. Shillings 1400, probability 0 0.2. Shillings 1900, probability is 0 0.25. Shillings 2400, probability is 0 0.15. And shillings 2900, probability is 0 0.4. Required, Roman 1. Simulate the company's profit for 10 days using the following random numbers. 0, 6, 4, 1, 5, 9, 8, 7, 8, 8, 5, 6, 0, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1, 6, 0, 4, 4, 9, 7, 9, 0, 9, 1, 8, 4, 9, 4, 4, 2, 4, 9, 9, 1, 3. And Roman 2. The simulated average daily profit. End of question. Now, this question has two random variables. It has only the costs, and therefore we are guaranteed of a minimum of uh, five, five columns because we have uh, the, the, the day column, and you have the, these two random variables, each with the num round number column. So there are going to be five minimum. Then again, we look at um, the, the uh, question, what is asking, and we are able to know the, col the column. But before that, we, I told you the first, three, the first three steps is having the random. This is um, June 2010, question five, part uh, B. Part B. So we have random. Variables. These are the ones you are simulating because they are uncertain. So the first one is the cost of X1. We have probability, cumulative probability, and you have the range. The range. So, we have the cost given us. There are four different levels. We have 1100, we have uh, 16, 21, 26. The probability is given as 0 0.10, 0 0.05, 0 0.15, 0 0.25, 0 0.25. 
0 0.35, 0.50. Then the second one is cost of x2. Cost of x2, uh, which is 1400, 1900, 2400, 2900. So with a probability of um, 0 0.20, 0 0.25, 0 0.15, 0 0.40. So now we can get the cumulative. That's now step one. Step two is the cumulative, which is going to be 0 0.10, 0 0.15, 0 0.50, 0 0.0. Well, this is 0 0.20, 0 0.4. 5, 0 0.60, and 1.00. Uh -huh. Then getting the range, I told you that the range we use 100 up to 99. So starting with the 00, zero we end at 09. This is 10, we end at 14. This is 15, we end at 49. And this is 50, we end at 99. Then the other one is starting from 00, zero we end at 19. This is a 20, we end at uh, 44. This is 45, we end at 59. And this is 60, we end at 99. Now, remember these random numbers have been given in a continuous manner. No breaking. They have not been given in terms of how many characters or how many um, maybe uh, figures you have. So you have been given continuous, meaning you have the choice of either picking one or two or three, depending on what? The number of decimal placing in uh, our probability. If our probability is one decimal place, then even our range would have accommodated only one figure. And therefore, we would uh, go to take one digit. But if our probability, like we have... Uh, is two decimal places, then of course even our range will accommodate now uh, two um, digits. So if, for example, like one of these two, the probability maybe was uh, two, three, three decimal places, maybe like uh, this one is zero, 0 0.201, 0 0.457. So if we had such, then of course we would take now three digits from our random numbers because they have been given in a continuous manner. But luckily enough, this is what we have. So we'll be driven by the number of decimal placing in our probability uh, to get uh, the random numbers. Then that is all about uh, the first three, uh, three steps. The next step is to come up with a worksheet. And our worksheet now will also require to understand how many columns here. First of all, remember, like I told you, if you're having two random numbers, those are already guaranteed four together with the day. The first one is the day. We have uh, the cost of x1. We have uh, the cost of x2. But remember, before you get the cost of x1, because it's random, then we need a random number. We need a random number for this. But again, this cost and this cost, when we add them, but again, we can't add them per unit because from the look of things, our number of ingredients or units are different. So because this is different, we need now to get the total cost of the first ingredient. We also get total cost of the second ingredient. Our revenue is not random. Revenue is already decision variable. So we know the price we are charged. So we can have here total revenue or we can have here now total uh, cost, we have a uh, total revenue. Either we can have it here or we can have it at the beginning. So either here or here. But at the end of the day, we now need to get the profit. The profit is the difference between the revenue and what? The total cost. So you have a choice because this ra revenue is not random variable. It is actually additional variable. And therefore, either can appear here or here. But if the revenue was also random, then you have to actually use the flow. If they have been arranged, price first, then cost one following, cost two following, then even in your 
worksheet you mark, make sure that the revenue come first then the cost follows in the same same logical uh, sequence but because i'm saying that this is not part of part of um, uh, what is to be simulated then you can place it anyway have a choice never interchange like if you have been given uh, the cost of first ingredient don't come to interchange and start with the second ingredient then the first ingredient because the random numbers uh, we are going to pick the first one will be for the cost one second one will be for the cost two third one for cost one fourth one for cost two, like that so do not interchange and that's why i'm maintaining the logical uh, flow so these are how many columns one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so those are ten columns you can have this this one now this is simulation worksheet simulation worksheet so we have the day we have uh, the rn we have uh, cost one or the cost of x1 we have total cost of x1 we have rn we have cost of x2 we have total cost of x2 they have total cost we have total revenue and we have now the profit mm -hmm. those are enough columns So those columns are enough to give us what we require. We have been told to simulate for 10 days. For 10 days. Mm -hmm. Ten days. Mm -hmm. so this is what we have. Now, uh, when you're given this one set of random numbers, those numbers will be shared by the cost of X1 and the cost of X2. And therefore, you're going to write them across, not downwards. You're going to write them across. So in each of the days, we have uh, day one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that now we can have the numbers in this way. The numbers have been given. We have, um, we'll be picking two, two because of our ranges. So two decimal places. So we'll be pick, picking two. So we have zero, 06 and then 41. This is zero, 06. Then this is 41. Then you have um, 5987. 5987. Double eight, 56. Double eight, five, six. Five, six. Zero, 02. 23, 02, 23, 23, 32, 32, 16, 0, 0, 18, 49, 18, 49, 44, 24, 44, 24, 99, 13, 99, 13. So these numbers, they are actually matching the 10 days. Sometimes you may do, we may do a question where the numbers provided are exceed. They exceed the number of days. 
So you just need uh, to, to settle on uh, 10 days. Just pick the numbers up to 10 days, period. Thank <music> you.